Hey, folks at home. Just a reminder that these videos are now only going out to my private list, so please don't repost. And given last week's less than unfettered victory... I hereby order the immediate detainment of all individuals known or suspected to be vampires. With Maddie's recently revealed scheming and her I'll get you next time style exit, the board was only too happy to vote the measure right in, in spite of some strenuous objections. You can't just detain people because they're vampires. That's like species profiling. Well, your loyalty is touching, Fräulein Hollis, but misguided. Who was it that built this school as a feeding ground? Vampiren. Who was it incited la terror? Vampiren. Who killed my ancestors and forever blighted my family's hopes of rising to the Hoch de Della? Vampiren. Why, even two days ago, Fräulein Karsting was seen feeding in public on freshman girls. But she didn't kill them. She was just acting out. If even the most exemplary of vampires cannot control herself, containment is necessary. Look, I know that she's antisocial and amoral and far from perfect, but... You know what, Cream Puff? Don't do me any favors. If Mr. Burns here wants to see out of control, I'd be happy to oblige. Don't force us to steal your shroud and behead you, Fräulein! After Karm blew out of there, Vordenberg rallied the troops, mostly the Summers and the Zetas, for a full-scale vampire hunt, which would normally be a death sentence, but he seems to have them souped up somehow, like supernatural steroids. We still don't know what that's about. It's not all bad news, though. The sales to the Corvée Corporation have stopped, and the corporate strike team seems to have backed off. I just... I didn't mean for it to work out this way. And when I say this way, what I mean is... Good evening, fine students and faculty of Aubrey University. Tonight, I announce the opening of our Interim Student Center and Trauma Unit, where, like an oasis of old, you can procure new ID, enjoy coffee, or have physician's lunch, boils, or applied leeches. And I once again denounce the vicious series of vampire attacks that have targeted those who supported my rise to chairman. My hunters and I shall be relentless in rooting out this and any other threats to the human students of Silas University. God, I don't even know what I'm supposed to feel. She should be better than all this lashing out, shouldn't she? And what if she gets hurt or something worse? Hey, Laura? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Do you need something? Uh, it's nothing. No big deal, really. Um, somebody saw a panther dragging a body across the North Quad, and I just didn't want you to hear it from anyone else. I guess I should have known that something like this was coming. Well, why don't you come with me and we'll go make ice cream sundaes for dinner? No, thanks, though. I think I just need to be alone for a while, take a walk. I will stay inside the building. Hey, Laura, do you want to hang out with me and Jeep and... Oh. Hey, Pear. Thought you were still hanging around upstairs, you know, avoiding me? I'm not just avoiding you. I'm avoiding JP, too. Miss Perry, if I could just once more apologize for whatever I've done to upset or discomfort it's you... It's not you. Or either of you, or it's not just you, it's me. I just don't belong here. Everybody else seems to fit in. Carmilla's a vampire, Laura's in love with a vampire, and you're just excited about researching whatever unspeakable horror we've stepped in this week, and I'm just tired of being attacked and threatened and scared. We're all scared, Pear. I was bodiless in the library for more than a century, it was terrifying. God, why do you think I like to study stuff so much? If you dissect it, it can't hurt you. And if you'll permit, if I've learned anything facing the limits of my sanity in an epistemological madhouse, life is awful and incomprehensible. So it's usually better to be terrified together. You know, for a disembodied freak in a vampire body, you're pretty nice. I... 
Is anyone else as uncomfortable as I am with this level of physical contact? Extremely. Oh, yes, mm. definitely. Well, if you want, we could go have ice cream for dinner. Oh, is there any more of that salted caramel gelato left? God, I wish it were that simple. I thought it was supposed to go, you love who you love and all of your other differences just fade away. And you don't end up some 19-year-old girl with a broken door? All right, Lolita. Time to make yourself useful. Don't just sit there gawking at us. Get off your ass and help us. See that subscribe button? You should click it.